Hey there, everyone. I'm super excited to introduce you to an amazing feature of the Table Manager plugin that'll really speed up your workflow. Have you ever wanted to display your data in a table that can be modified by your website editors? Well, now you can do it with WP Table Manager. Thanks to our user role management system, you can easily grant access to table data to any user by providing them with a login. WP Table Manager provides an advanced user role editing feature that allows you to give your editors direct access to table data from the front end. Don't worry, you have full control over who can perform different actions on various parts of the table data. So, no more delays. Let's dive right in. To create a new user role for your website, go to the Users section in the sidebar of your WordPress dashboard. There, you'll have the option to manage existing roles or create a new one. Craft a new role specifically for editors. Next, navigate to the configuration settings of WP Table Manager. Click on the user role setting to access a list of permissions assigned to each role. These permissions are self-explanatory, so I won't go into detail about each one. However, I'll adjust some permissions for the editor role to showcase the role set up earlier. Now, I'll log in using another user I set up earlier with the editor role. From there, I'll head straight to the WP Table Manager. In the main display of the Table Manager, there are existing categories and tables previously created by a different user. I also have the ability to create new categories or tables on my own. However, in the earlier steps, I disabled the permission to edit categories created by others for the editor role. This means that the editor role can only modify their own categories but can't edit or delete categories or tables created by others. Let's discuss another aspect of user restrictions. I am currently using an editor role account and navigating to my Elementor page. From the plugin bar, I will search for the WP Table Manager block and add it to my page. Normally, I would be able to see all of my tables and categories here, allowing me to add the table created under the editor role. However, if I try to add tables from categories belonging to other user roles, the plugin will display an error message indicating that I do not have permission to view those files. By implementing these permission restrictions, you can ensure that other users' roles don't interrupt your workflow, making it easier to manage websites and pages efficiently. Finally, and now that really the end, Let's check the third-party integrations that the plugin has. Many WordPress plugins are integrated with their respective content blocks, widgets, or modules, whatever their names are. The most popular you may know are WooCommerce, Elementor, or DD Builder. Also, and that's more interesting, many sheet formats are supported for import and synchronization, like Excel files, CSV files, or OpenOffice files. This plugin is available at $49 with all the features we've just shown in this video. And that's for an unlimited number of websites, no domain limitation, no support limitation. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching this video from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new plugin features. And of course, you'll find all the useful links we've talked about in the description. Have a nice day, bye.